What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Kuro, kuro, kuro. Welcome back for another video. <laughs> My girl. I said it wrong. Sorry. <gasps> My girl. <laughs> so, in this video, I am going to do a one product video. I'm not going to add anything else because, you know, some people's in their feelings. In this video, I will be doing a braid out. <laughs> okay, with one product. Risking it all. But basically, I feel like every time I see a salon video, I feel like hairstylists now, okay, not all, but most of the ones I've seen that I be like, ooh, they only use mousse. And so today, I'm gonna try to be like a hairstylist at a salon and use just mousse on this look, okay? I don't know, I'm at the, just have y'all roll y'all eyes at me and put some leave-in conditioner in. Y'all know me, I don't like wasting my time. I don't. But you know what, I do gotta do my hair right after this so I could risk it all. All right, so this right here uh, that I have that I'm gonna use for this braid out is, this is the Bronner Brothers Moisturizing Wrapping Lotion, okay? It's supposed to leave my hair with bounce, beauty, and baddie, okay? That's what they say on the bottle. And y'all, this was under $5, okay? And I actually found this at Sally Beauty. So it says alcohol free conditioning is moisturizing. It's a wrapping lotion that contains powerful thermal protectors, uh huh, and olive oil for your hair. And then it says great for blow drying, hot curling, wet setting, and wrapping your hair. It detangles, uh huh, easy combing, ash sheen, and no flaking. That's what it says. So let's stop talking, sis, and let's get this video started. Um, curl. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm gonna start in the back. This is a braid out, so my part should be straight, but I don't feel like it. My hair dried out. So, y'all know, if y'all don't, I'm very particular about mousse and or foaming lotion, foam, whatever you wanna call it. And um, so it, it all matters how it comes out. If it is watery, it's, it's I don't know. So, it's sitting like this in my hand. It's running. But it's not running too quick. It's not a sprinter, okay? So that's good. So, I'm not gonna waste product. We're just gonna put it on that section. And I'm gonna section this off. Tangle that. And I fill that whole section. So now I'm going to try to evenly part this so that I can have a decent Braid out. Okay, Jay, don't do a three strand twist. Y'all be ready to do a three strand twist. Okay, focus. This is a braid. This is a braid. Braid it. Braid it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Y'all know the hairstyle that I'm still nervous to do? It's a Bantu knot out. I'm still nervous. I still uh, just don't know. And you already know, like, when we get to the end, we're just gonna do a little two strand twist. Okay. Have you mastered a Bantu knot out down below? Let me know because I feel like I asked y'all before, but I don't remember what video that was, so. in right brush it through I'm realizing now I should add a little bit more of the foam just so that when I'm braiding down it eliminates the frizz because one section I didn't add as I was going down and I had frizz color so 
It may seem like it's like product overload, but of course it's mousse, so it's not gonna really do nothing. You're fine. So just add a little bit more mousse and you will be in the clear. It just really helped it. Like my hair looks real shiny. I can't we're liking that. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Look at that. People. Ooh to the wee wee. <laughs> Whoa. I just want to be over. Last two. <sighs> then we're through. <laughs> right. I've noticed too, y'all. I ended up using like four or five pumps. At the beginning, it was cute to use, you know, one pump. But after that, my hair was like, drive you on. So I've used about four or five pumps just so that that whole section is covered, as well as the roots. I'll make sure it's even. And you can tug as you go a little bit, just so you can make sure everything is nice and tight. And then I stop halfway. This one looks like it's product overload, so I don't even have to pump no more on my hand. So we're just gonna add this on my hand onto the strand. Oh, not about you, thank you. Probably gonna let this sit in my hair, dropping things. Probably gonna let this sit in my hair for at least overnight. And then in the morning, I'm going to um, sit under the dryer for about an hour. Um, not sitting under the dryer today, I don't feel like it. I'm telling y'all. Is this the one? I think this is the one I was talking about where I didn't add more product. So it was frizzy. We're gonna take this down. I believe that it's dry. I don't know. We're gonna test it. Um, and it, if it isn't, um, I know I said I was gonna do the overnight thing, but I changed my mind. So um, if it's still not dry, I'm just going to still unravel it and then set it back under the dryer. Okay, great. If you braid it correctly, you should be able to find one piece. No, you should be able to find two pieces and just pull it. Okay. Just grab two pieces. Okay, maybe not those two pieces. Usually it works. <laughs> okay, so the back is dry. I also have to remind myself that we use mousse, so it shouldn't take that long to dry. The other option is for you to braid just the opposite way to unravel it. I'll show y'all, so just going up the braid like that. Or you can use your hands like this. I feel like this way it causes more frizz, but that's why I was hoping I could do the unraveling thing. So it shows that the mousse kind of limits me. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> help, help. Like that. That's all I was trying to show y'all. <laughs> Excuse me, hair is looking good. That was the only thing I didn't like about braid outs. I always felt like the back was just extra long compared to the rest of the hair. Am I alone in that? Is it my hair? Me? Let me know. Yeah, I understand. It was good, it's soft, it has definition. Maybe they're onto something. 
sis. If you are not already doing this, maybe we should. Now the other test is to actually separate the hair. Ooh. -wee. Okay, I don't know what the back looks like. Let's go look, give me a second. All right, so I did create some frizz. That's okay, but I am actually very surprised with my results. Let's not sleep on mousse, okay? Uh, I'm gonna see how this mousse does, or maybe a different mousse, and see how it does on a twist stop. Because of the top two styles, I feel like I see them use mousse, and I'm like, why mousse? Let's learn. <laughs> Okay, I will lay my edges, but like I said, it's late. I'm about to go to sleep, honestly. Yeah, girl, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you already use mousse for braid out or twist out. Let me know and what mousse is it, okay? Help us out, you know how we do on this channel, help us. Um, I would definitely use this product again. Also too, I forgot to say that the product smelled really good. My hair is not crunchy. My hair is soft. Y'all see it. It's it's bouncing. Bounce, bounce. Y'all saw that? I'm thoroughly satisfied. Like, thoroughly satisfied. Like, it has body. It has some volume going on. Definition? The shape, once I keep working on it, the shape will come through. <laughs> um under five dollars and this is the only product that i used we had a successful tutorial y'all i'm so excited <laughs> little friends but i ain't never hurt nobody okay um but yeah so if you found this video educating a little entertaining let you girl know by giving a thumbs up and girl subscribe to the channel join my beautiful people crew who they will okay and girl as always i thank you for watching and i'll see you later peace 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 Peace, peace, peace. Face. I do have online courses. So if you are struggling with your hair and you're just like, Janae, I don't get it. I've been watching and I'm still confused. I do have my curly courses that you can sign up for. The link is down below. So I can help you with a perm rod set, twist out with a wash and go. If you are having trouble with that, let me help you, okay? Let's do that, okay? We'll make sure we talk about product uh, choice. Um, the style and technique as well as you just really executing it with the takedown too. Cause that'd be the thing, you can put it in, but ooh, when you take it down, help us all. This is only for the folks, okay? They are still, they don't get it, okay? We can have a one-on-one -on -one and I can help you on out. People that have signed up so far, they have had a success, which is really good. And um, yeah, so let's keep going and growing. So make sure you uh, go ahead and check out my curly courses down below.